Welcome back everyone. Today we're finally making a one piece and I'm really excited to share the method I used to make it since it is a little something new. This one piece is called the Sarah one piece and it's going to be kind of a v-neck form-fitting one piece suit. So today's materials are going to be our usual. We have swimwear fabric, elastic, pins, and other sewing notions, and I'll make sure to link the post with all the sewing notions that I typically use. If you do have questions on something that you see, comment and I'll let you know what it is and where to find it. And there is a pattern available for this suit as well. It's called the Sarah One Piece, as I mentioned, and it's one that I've been working on for many, many months. It will be available and it's going to be linked in the description. So I'm using this pink shell fabric as the lining and the palm fabric as the outside and the suit is fully reversible. I'm going to start by cutting out my pattern pieces, cutting off one of each piece in the lining. As usual, make sure to add one quarter inch of seam allowance. The reason why I don't include the seam allowance in my patterns is because I hate when I accidentally cut the pattern itself. By adding your own seam allowance, you don't have to worry about that, and it's just a personal preference, so I did want to use that in my patterns. We're also going to cut our straps, which will make 2.25 inches by around 8 or so inches. If you did buy the pattern, there's a more specific size chart on the strap measurements. Moving on, we're going to cut one of each piece in our palm fabric. I'm just using the pieces I cut because that way I know that the pieces are even. Once you've cut all your pieces, we're going to start off with our straps. Match right sides together and sew all along the edges. Then go back and add elastic right on top of each edge. Flip the straps to the right side and put them aside. Now we're going to take our four bust pieces and match them right sides together. Sew along the inner bust and the shoulder line as shown. You'll also go ahead and add elastic onto those same parts. Next, insert our strap inside the strap opening, making sure right sides are together and the fabric is facing the right direction. Pin and sew across all four layers of fabric. When you take the straps back to the right side, you'll have a nice, clean finish. And this is the method that we'll be using for the rest of this tutorial. 
Now we're going to take our front bottom pieces and match them right sides together. So just along the leg holes and then add elastic. Next, take your bust pieces and insert them inside of the front bottom, right sides together. You'll want to pin just the inner corner and the outer edge since we'll be stretching while we're sewing. Make sure that everything is tucked inside and then sew, again sewing across all four layers of fabric. While you're sewing, you're going to stretch the front bottom so that the cups fit inside the allotted space. Take the suit again back to the right side. Next we're going to take our back piece and match it right sides together. Just like last time, we're just going to sew the leg holes and then add some elastic. Once that's done, you're going to insert your front piece inside of your back piece, making sure that right sides are together. Line up the gusset and then sew straight across, across four layers of fabric. This will attach the front to the back. Now we're going to move on to sewing the sides, which is definitely the most difficult part of this tutorial, but we are using the same exact steps as we have prior to this. Take the outer layer of the back piece, in this case my palm fabric, and wrap it around so that the right sides are facing together. Palm should be facing palm and pink should be facing pink in my case. Along the sides you're going to pin the top and the bottom edges, then sew all four layers of fabric together. And you're going to do this with both of the sides. As you're sewing, you're going to want to stretch it so that you can sew in a straight line and make sure you're sewing four layers of fabric at a time. So as you can see, it makes a nice clean finish. I just took it back to the right side using the only open seam, which is going to be our top of our back piece. You don't need to take the suit back to the right side like in many of my tutorials, but in this case I did just to show you what it looks like. Now we just have to attach the straps and sew the top of the back all in one step. 
To do this, tuck your straps inside the two layers of fabric and pin where you want them to be. Make sure that they're not twisted and that they're lined up correctly. Again, right sides should be together. We're gonna sew all along the spinal seam, sewing over both the straps as well as the back edge. To make sure that we can take the suit back to the right side, we are gonna leave about a two inch hole between the straps. So sew this final seam once more. We're only sewing through two layers of fabric this time, except when we hit those straps. After you've sewn this edge, take your suit back to the right side through the hole we left. Then finish off that hole using either an invisible stitch or a top stitch. If you have a bikini brand and you wanna put a clothing tag in, now would be the prime time to do that. And here is the final product of the Sarah One Piece. Ta-da! So like I said, this is a really nice form-fitting kind of deep V swimsuit. I like that the seams are under the cups. It gives you a little bit more support and it just kind of draws the eye a little bit differently than a solid piece would. If you wanted to customize it, you could obviously make it more cheeky, less cheeky. You could make the straps thinner. I've seen people in my pattern testing group who made the straps really long and they crossed over the straps. Thank you very, very much for watching this tutorial. It's been a long time coming, but I'm excited to let you know that I have many, many, many more one pieces as well as other swimwear planned. So I hope you stick around and I will see you in the next one. And we're